This is Erin Ruth. You're listening to the Strong Women of Celtic Music on the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, show 571.
Welcome to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast, helping you celebrate Celtic culture through music. I am Mark Gunn. I'm a musician and podcaster, and you can support the artists in this show. Please buy the music you enjoy. You will find a link to all of the artists along with showtimes and chapters for each song when you visit our website at CelticMusicPodcast.com. You can also support this podcast over on Patreon. We are enjoying the music of the women of Celtic music this week on the podcast. There are some who continue to devalue women and strip them of their rights. See the recent Supreme Court decision in the States. But this podcast believes strongly that women, too, need representation. That's why I play at least one podcast a quarter highlighting the women of Celtic music, and I'll be honest, that's not nearly enough. Fair Play is an organization based in Ireland that seeks to achieve gender balance in the production, performance, promotion, and development of of Irish traditional and folk music. They advocate for equal opportunity and balanced representation for all. A recent look at the top festivals in Ireland revealed that less than a quarter of all musicians featured at festivals were women, headliners even less. And I get it. I, again, I do this feature on women in, in Celtic music every quarter, and that's not a lot. And I hope to increase the number of these shows uh, to continue to highlight Celtic women, but it's a tough process with my time constraints. So if you have ideas or suggestions or want to help make something happen, please drop me a line, CelticPodcast at gmail.com. And make sure you sign up for the FairPlay.com website for more information about the work they are doing. That's FairPlay, F-A-I-R-P-L-E dot com. First, a big thanks to Aaron Ruth, who introduced the show. You can find a link to her in the show notes. And we kicked off the show with Tallulah. That was all ours from their album Rising. That features Kaylee Moran and Quiva. Kaylee uh, typically plays fiddle and vocals. And Quiva plays Irish harp, concertina, and piano. Next up is Ohm with The Piper's Desire and Miss McLeod's From the Gold Ring. This features Amanda Coretta Hall on Boren. <laughs> Thank you. 
After Ohm came Avon Fair with the Jolly Beggar from Tales of Love and Adventure. That group features Andriette Redman on vocals, guitar, and percussion, Kath Green on vocals, guitar, and percussion, and Anna Marie Spalina on vocals, guitar, percussion, mandolin, ukulele, and recorders. After Avon Fair came Lissa Schneckenberger with Petronella from her album Dance, and of course she plays fiddle, and also vocals as well. Neve Dune from her album Portraits, that was Bellanides Wall, and she does vocals and fiddle, and she does have a new EP that is out, and it, they're mostly cover songs, so I can't play them on the show, but uh, go check it out because they sound fantastic. I want your feedback. What are you doing today while listening to the podcast? You can send a written comment along with a picture of what you're doing while listening. Email a voicemail message to KelticPodcast at gmail.com. I am running low once again, so KelticPodcast at gmail.com. Next up is Jocelyn Petit and Ellen Gira with Fleur Reels from their album All It Brings. Jocelyn Petit does fiddle, step dancing, singing, and composing, and Ellen Gira is a cellist.
the stones of a poor father's garden clinging on in the world of the sword and the lance a girl on her knees as the world's edge fades into the brightness god's messengers call here they call on a daughter of france and i must i must be at the king's side there will be no
Shadow and Song. After Petit and Gira came The Chivalrous Crickets, that was Daughter of France from their self-titled album. That features Fiona Gillespie on vocals, Irish whistle, flute, percussion, and mountain dulcimer. Genevieve Gillespie does fiddle and vocals. And of course, I think it was in the last show or the one before that where someone said, you should play The Chivalrous Crickets. And I found them this, this summer when I was looking for Celtic bands at some of the festivals, and I was very happy to include them in the show. After The Chivalrous Crickets came The Lilies of the Midwest with K- Kitty O'Neill's champion jig from Flora. That band features Charlene Adzema with fiddle and voice, Kara Rogers on concertina, and Jean Schultz on mandolin box. Then came the Gothard sisters with Shadow and Sun from their newest album, Dragonfly, and they actually have a new single that just came out, so I gotta get that on the show soon. Uh, that features Greta Gothard on guitar, violin, vocals, and Irish dance. Willow Gothard does violin, mandolin, Irish dance, boron, and vocals and Solana Gothard does vocals, violin, boron, djembe, percussion, whistles, Irish dance, and ukulele. <laughs> I love the band and I love a lot of these artists. So make sure you support them if there's something that you've enjoyed so far. You can follow them however you want. Thank you, patrons of the podcast. Because of your kind and generous support, this show comes out four times a month. Your generosity funds the creation, promotion, and production of the show, allows us to attract new listeners and to help our community grow. As a patron, you hear episodes before regular listeners, vote in the Celtic Top 20, and you get a private feed to the show. That's for as little as $1 per episode. And apparently you'll get some bonus episodes like you're going to get next month. I'll tell you about that in a moment. For higher pledges, you can also get music-only episodes, free MP3s, and standalone Celtic stories when you become a Songhenger. If you want to support the podcast with a one-off contribution, you can donate or even buy some Celtic Podcast t-shirts or other merch. Again, thank you so much for supporting the show. Thanks to our newest patrons of the podcast, Beth H., Sean H., and Richard N. Here is your three-step plan to support the podcast. Go to songhenge.com. That takes you to our Patreon page. Number two, decide how much you want to pledge every week. $1, $5, $10, $25, $100. $100. Make sure to cap how much you want to spend per month. And number three, keep listening to the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast to celebrate Celtic culture through music. You can become a generous patron of the podcast on Patreon at songhenge.com. Next up, we have Low Lily. This is Rock of Ages from 10,000 Days Like These. This band features Liz Simmons on guitar and vocals and Lisa Schneckenberger on fiddle and vocals. Round, round, I wanna go round Wanna see the rock of ages Till my body gives out Gonna read the final pages Oh, my mother is gone She told me I should meet her Someday streets of gold Are gonna guide me on to greet her
could take you here with me I'd wrap you up, I don't need much But more than a memory Dear After Lola Lee came Nathan Gourley and Laura Federson with Alla Strums and Ned Kelly's from Brightly or Darkly. That, of course, features Laura Federson on fiddle. Then Gwendolyn Snowden from her album The Three Strand Braid. That was the North Star Grassman and the Ravens. I couldn't find the information about, outside of, you know, vocals, what other instruments she does. If you know, drop me a line, CelticPodcast at gmail.com. Then came Mary Grace Autumn Lee, who plays Hammered Dulcimer. That was Trip to Thornfield from her album Ire. And finally, Claire Cunningham is a new addition. She's going to be one of the female performers uh, September 10th through 11th at the Middle Tennessee Highland Games and Celtic Festival in Henderson, Tennessee. I am performing there as well. If you want to join us at the games, you'll find a special link in the show notes where you can buy a ticket. But you can also come find me and get your free Irish and Celtic Music Podcast uh, sticker. And Claire Cunningham has an album out called Dear Ireland. And that was the title track. As you might have noticed, there will be no public show next week. I will be doing some catch-up. However, there will be a bonus episode for patrons of the podcast. This episode is music only and highlights some of the best music picked by you for the Celtic Top 20 at the end of the year. If you want this bonus episode, again, you need to join the patrons on Patreon. In the meantime, vote in the Celtic Top 20 for 2022. This is our way of finding the best songs and artists each year. You can vote for as many songs and tunes that inspire you in each episode 
episode and your vote helps me create next year's best Celtic music of 2022 episode. Get Celtic music news in your inbox. The Celtic music magazine is a quick and easy way to plug yourself into more great Celtic culture. Subscribe and get 34 Celtic MP3s for free. And the Irish and Celtic music podcast is here to build our diverse community and help the incredible artists who so generously share their music with you. Musicians rely on your support so they can keep creating new music. If you heard music you loved, visit the artist website, buy CDs, digital downloads, shirts, album pens, and other merch. You can follow them on streaming and see the shows. You can support many Celtic musicians on Patreon just like this podcast. And of course, I always appreciate it when you email artists to let them know you heard them on the Irish and Celtic Music Podcast. We have one final track to play. This is Lads of the Fair by Banshee in the Kitchen from their album, The Last Pint Not. It features uh, Jill England on accordion, Kat Edmondson on guitar, Brenna Hunter on hammer dulcimer, and Chris Wilbur on bass. Thank you so much for listening. I, I hope you have a wonderful couple of weeks, and I will be back with more great music in September. Meantime, sláinte.
can see the mud, the lads of the fire, lads from the fourth in the care of the water. Working lads and lads with gears, lads who say the provost's daughter. Soldiers back from the German war, peddlers free up the border, and lassies with a knife are mayor than the kite. At the Tristan Fat in Falkirk. The Irish and Celtic Music Podcast was produced by Mark Gundy Keltfather. The show was edited by Mitchell Peterson with graphics by Miranda Nelson Designs. Visit our website to subscribe to the podcast and our mailing list. You'll find links to all the artists played in this episode. You'll get access to the best of the year playlist and you will better connect with your Celtic heritage. The show is supported by patrons on Patreon. Visit songhinge.com to get episodes before regular listeners. And finally... Please tell one friend about this podcast. Word of mouth is the absolute best way to support any creative endeavor. Promote Celtic culture through music at CelticMusicPodcast.com.